What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, voice is still not feeling 100% yet, so we're gonna do what we can with the streams and the videos, uh, trying not to, you know, break my voice or anything along those lines. But today we've got Umbra Neja, and it's not exactly Archon Umbra Neja, but we'll talk about why that is in a little bit here. Uh, but yeah, I went over, I went full Tau Shards on this, using some Tau Shards for different uses than you, what you would normally use them for, and it actually works out pretty nicely. Uh, it's meant for face tanking, no rolling guard, shield gating here, uh, and it will basically fall, fall off around like level 1000 on the steel path. And I did test it out, uh, and you know, you can still face tank some enemies at level, around level 1000, but you will still get one shot through your 1000 health and like multiple sources of DR around that level. So anything below level 1000, you don't even need to cast your abilities for sometimes. So we'll be going over that today. Uh, but if you do enjoy the channel and all that, make sure you're subscribed. We do daily Warframe video uploads, except for when I'm sick and can't upload for a couple days. Um, also check out the live stream channel. We'll be live later tonight with some Warframe. All right, so Umbra Nourish Neja. What's the situation with this build? Well, we're using the massively buffed ability of Grendel, Nourish from Helminth, and we're using Nezha with Umbra mods and Archon shards, making it so we are very tanky, and we're using powerful weapons with Nezha's second ability debuff. We can just one-shot most things with no Riven involved. So multiple million damage, no uh, you know, no, no Rivens, no problem. And of course you can use other weapons like the Glaive Prime for big damage as well, but to be honest, I am using a Riven on my Glaive Prime right now. All right, so that's the idea of the build. Uh, use meta weapons, use Neja to be nice and comfy and do big damage. As far as what we're using for Archon shards here, uh, let's just quickly talk about what Nourish does before we go over what Archon shards we've chosen. So Nourish from Grendel, if you watched my videos recently, you know what this does, but if you haven't, I'm gonna give you a quick overview. So basically you cast this ability, you and your nearby allies are gonna get this buff for a certain duration of time. What it does with the Helminth version is it gives you increased energy multiplier from all sources. So, for example, I, if I picked up an orb, it'd be like 160 energy with this multiplier. Additionally, whenever you take damage or get shot, you will do a 15.6 meter viral uh, explosion, which has a guaranteed viral proc every time you're damaged. So we're using the Common Discipline Aura mod every time we get a kill, it will damage us. So we're constantly putting off 15.6 explosion uh, viral radius like Nova things so you can put more range on here actually one of the old versions of this build did have more range in here to get a bigger AoE but 15.6 is fine and additionally just cherry on top depending on how much of strength you have you get increased viral weapon damage and also works on some abilities too doesn't work on Nash's abilities from what I can tell so that's the idea of it and as far as what we're going for here uh, on our Archon shards we've got two Archon shards for duration because we're running a massively increased uh, power strength set up here, and there's a, one of the, the major power strength mods gives you reduced duration. So we're set offsetting that duration as the duration of Nourish is very low. It goes to like 18 seconds. We don't put these duration shards on there. So you get about 25 second duration. Duration does not really affect Neja that much else, elsewhere, though. So if you're okay with a really low duration Nourish, you can put those Archon shards for more strength or something else and get even more power strength. Uh, speaking of power strength, we're jumping a bunch of power strength. The main reasons for that is going to be Neja's second ability, Blazing Chakra. When an enemy is hit by this, they get a damage vulnerability, uh, which scales with strength. So with this build, we have 331% strength. They take a 331% damage vulnerability increase. Very nice for one-shotting Acolytes. That's the idea of this build, basically. Use meta weapons and one-shot Acolytes while also being tanky. Um, strength on the other things, not really helping that much. The speed increase on Neja's one, the Firewalker, does not even increase with strength hilariously. But I actually like this a lot more than Neja's normal fourth ability, uh, because Neja's fourth ability is Divine Spheres, and you have to like, press the button multiple times to have it recastable and stuff. Just pretty terrible. Also, you could technically shield gate with this if you have enough Augur mods. And with this build, we do have enough Augur mods. I know I said it's not a shield gating build, but you technically could shield gate from Neja's one or something else. Uh, so as far as warding Halo, this technically scales to strength as well, but uh, it's not as big of a deal. So basically just get shot uh, and it'll give you like a big, big uh, extra little HP pool, uh, but it's technically not, you're not immune because enemies will still shoot you through this because you only get DR from it. It pulls from the, the pool of health. So with all these things stacked together, um, we have a bunch of DR from our three. I've actually put on health regen shards, uh, two Tau health regen shards. So we get 15 health Regeneration per second with no other bonuses. And we also got one casting speed Tau Shard. 
Now, the nice thing about this is, like I said, at, in normal missions, we are so in tanky that it doesn't even matter. Uh, but one of the problems is at higher levels, that 15 health regen a second doesn't really hold up as well, so I put on Grace here in addition for higher levels. The nice thing about this build is it's very flexible. If, you, if you're playing a lower level mission and you're like, I don't really care about Grace, you can put Avenger on here. And since we've got Vigilante Pursuit, uh, which is a, you know, a filler Exilus mod because I don't have enough capacity to put other stuff on here, it will make it where crits from your weapons go through the next tier. So if you're running a crazy meta weapon like the Cedo, which is what I, was one of the best weapons I use in my testing, uh, this will make it where this thing is getting orange crits, and this thing has built-in condition overload already. We'll put on Galvanized Savvy, it has double condition overload. So very, very nasty weapon, good for killing high-level enemies, good for killing Thrax in uh, Void Cascade, and we're just going to go ahead and jump into these 20 Corrupted Heavy gu uh, Gunner Bombard, or Corrupted Bombard Eximus things, and they can't really do anything to me. If they break my Iron Skin uh, Warding Halo, I can just recast it. You're invincible while recasting, or for a brief period after Warding Halo expires, so. As you see, my health bar is not even moving, and that's with no Arcane Grace. So Arcane Grace is just a personal preference. Now we've got Avenger. We're getting tons of crits. It just looks like the enemies are really dumb, but... It's also just us being really, really tanky, so... Yeah, just, just walk around, just don't even care. That's Umbra Neja for you. So we are running all three of the Umbra mods. Uh, and of course, other weapons will work great for this, too. Uh, I'll be showing the Kuva Brahma in the footage. And additionally, this is a very flexible build. You don't need to run Prime Flow. Uh, you can run Normal Flow, for that matter. Or if you don't think that you need another or any energy mod, you're like, okay, I can just do no efficiency. Just put on uh, Stretch in that mod slot, and then you go... Your explosion radius on your nurse is 21 meters, and range doesn't really affect Neja that much else. So the range is only really for uh, Nourish. So I hope you guys got a good idea of what this build's about. Let's show some gameplay footage and talk about, uh, you know, if I'd recommend this to you. So this is with the Kufa Brahma and a uh, corrosive Hunter Munitions build. We're not running Viral because Nourish gives you guaranteed Viral, so you can just pretty much mod for whatever, which is nice on the Cedo because the Cedo, you know, has a bunch of status procs built in. Like I said, it has built-in condition overload. So, yeah, extra viral is nice. So, as far as would I recommend this to you, uh, I'd say, yeah, I would, actually. Uh, Neja is a pretty good steel path frame, and uh, <clears throat> as far as Umbra form are concerned, Neja does do very well with armor, with health, and with, uh, what's the other stat? Oh, yeah, power strength. Pretty well on Neja. Uh, that debuff can be very helpful in lots of situations. Uh, you're going to see right here, the, the Acolyte's going to get definitely one shot. Um, and, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. Now, the, the whole aspect of having to run Nourish from Grendel, um, it, it's just really good. I mean, my old Gloom, uh, Nourish, or <laughs> Gloom, I'm still kind of, like, tired. Sorry about that. My, my old Gloom Neja build is still good, and I use the Brahma on that, too. Uh, would I say this is better than Gloom Neja? Yeah, I probably would. Um, but it might be considered harder to get than Gloom Neja because... It's like Railjack to get Sethagoth versus beating every mission in the game to get uh, Arbitrations and Grendel. Uh, keeping in mind, maybe Nourish will get nerfed. I don't know, I keep saying that, but they haven't like changed anything, so who am I to know at this point? Um, but yeah, I definitely think this is really good and powerful. I'd recommend it to you. Um, and as far as other weapons, like I said, the main one I thought was really, really good was the Cedo with that build I showed you. I used it against uh, over level 1,000 Thrax on Steel Path Void Cascade. Uh, the Brahma is good for just killing tons of enemies, though. Um, and, you know, killing tons of enemies is good because you get more loot to drop. It's not as good for single target as you can see on this this Guardian Exynos guy. But, you know, everything else is just getting insta-killed. So, very nice there. And, of course, the flexibility. You don't need to run combat this one if you don't want to. I had Steel Charge in here for a little bit. Um, but I just like having the viral AoEs go off every time I get a kill. Um... And, of course, if you want to switch the Arcanes around, like I showed, you don't need to run Grace. Grace is just there for me to test something out. Uh, if you're using Combo Discipline, just search the word Damage. Uh, damaged, rather. Any uh, Arcane that procs from you getting damaged should work with Combo Discipline. So, very nice. There, here's some Thrax. Not too bad. They got a 300% debuff on them. Oh, in this footage, by the way, this is me running no primed uh, flow. I was running, I think, Stretch instead. So, this you can see how the bigger range kind of goes with this gameplay. So yeah, overall pretty fun build. Uh, you know, it has no shield gating. You can, you can pretty much easily make this shield gating, just throw rolling guard on here. We already get our full shield gate back from auger mods on our pistol. By the way, the other auger mods are on our pistol. Um, you can get full shield gate from your abilities with that anyway. So just throw on rolling guard, you'll be decaying dragon key, rolling guard, shield gate already. So 
There you go. Adaptations on here just so we can get shot a bunch. As you can see, I have a 90% reduction to slash damage on the screen. Uh, so if anyone hits me with slash damage, it's already reduced a ton. So, hope you guys found this video fun and helpful. Uh, I'll see you on stream later tonight. Uh, sorry about, you know, the last couple days missing videos and all that. It needed to happen because <laughs> uh, I woke up and can hardly talk. So, hopefully that doesn't come back anytime soon. Either way, guys, I appreciate all the support and see you next time. Peace.